Tanya. I'm an eighth grade social studies, history, and language arts teacher in Southern California. I tend to share a lot of my teaching life on social media, whether it be through YouTube, Instagram, and more recently, TikTok. And in all three of those platforms, I'm either sharing just the humorous side of teaching, the tough parts of teaching, but I also like to make sure I'm providing different resources, ideas, tips, and tricks that I feel like have served me well in the classroom that maybe others want to give a try. So one of the things that I know that I am always looking for as a classroom teacher is I'm either A, looking for resources and tools that I could use to make my instruction more engaging or more visually appealing. Because we know with kids, especially middle schoolers, if it looks nice, they may be more inclined to uh, engage with it a little bit more intently than if it was just some run of the mill worksheet that you gave them. But also, I'm always looking for ways for kids to express their learning in less traditional ways or in ways that I think they would find more entertaining, more fun to produce. And so when I found out about Adobe Creative Cloud Express, I got really excited because it allows me to do both of those things. As a teacher, if I'm looking to create um, engaging presentations, infographics of information that I wanna share in a very succinct way, that's something that I have available to me to create here. And on the flip side, if I want to assign something to students and say, hey, we just finished this unit of study on Manifest Destiny. Can you create a graphic? Can you create a presentation? Can you create an Instagram story that represents something that you've learned? I have that option here as well. So today I'm gonna walk you through just some more fun and lighthearted activity that I'm planning and doing as we speak with my eighth graders. It's the end of the year for us and I told them, hey, you guys, it's the end of the year. Let's kind of think about how we're ending things. These kids are, that I'm working with are about to go to high school. So I gave them the option to create a collage. I told them your collage could represent their middle school experience overall. They can talk about all three years, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Um, they could create a collage that represents what they are interested in at this point in their life as eighth graders. They could create a collage that's kind of like a vision board of what they are hoping to do and accomplish as they transition into high school. So I gave them those very loose parameters because we know giving students choice is always a good thing and then just kind of let them explore and create a collage that they felt like was representative of them. So I'm going to take you along in the process, kind of show you what the platform looks like from the student's perspective as they're creating and also walk you through some of the features that I have discovered along the way. So as I mentioned, this platform was new not only to me but my students as well and we didn't have it housed on our Chromebooks. It wasn't on our Clever page or anything like that. So I just had them Google search Creative Cloud Express for Education. Then they found the link that let them know that it was formerly known as Adobe Spark. They clicked that link and then they clicked sign in. Once they clicked sign in, they were asked to log in with Google. So as long as you are operating in a district that uses Google Drives and all of that, it should be pretty straightforward and easy for them to log in. And then they saw just the main page. So this is where they started and they saw that they had a lot of different options. If I wanted them to create an Instagram story, an Instagram post, etc. So I let them kind of look through that. But ultimately my goal was for them to create a collage. So they selected that as their option. And then the first page they were brought to had just these different images that they had available to them. I let them know that they can pick their images there or skip it and just go straight to making their own collage. Let them pick whatever um, orientation they wanted and then just kind of let them have at it there. So here you can see they had a lot of different options to choose from. They could have just made a collage from scratch, meaning that they weren't gonna use a template at all. But then they also had the option to pick a template that was already created for them, where they would just put the pictures in and replace things that are already placed on these templates. And if you look closely, they had quite a few to choose from. Um, over 2,000 template options were available. I think some kids chose templates, but I also saw some of my students making their own collages from scratch. But again, I just kind of let them do whatever they felt the most comfortable with and they felt that they would be the most successful with.
Which one do you love more? I love both of them. I love all of them. And I have two dogs and one cat. But if you had to eliminate one animal from the face of the earth, <laughs> find the cat. Okay. Okay, so. First, I added swimming and diving to mine because I'm a swimmer and one of my goals is to eventually get a scholarship for swimming at the UCLA program and work on it throughout high school. And then I added drumline and marching and snare drums because um, I also do snare and yeah, like that's one of my goals is to be on the drumline team and if not, get a swim scholarship, get a marching band scholarship. Um, I also chose pictures of UCLA throughout my collage slash poster because UCLA is one of my dream schools and I love that school so much. And then I added pictures of like music festivals because like when I'm 18 my friend we want to go eventually go to like a music festival together so I chose this year's lineup and I chose Pharrell's music festival in Washington and and how come I, what how come I don't see a picture of me in this collage I didn't know that we were supposed to add pictures of you it was supposed to be the highlight of me you said we could do like what we wanted to do in high school. You're um, you're not a high school teacher. Okay, okay, that's fine. And what is this? Is that um, like debate team or something? I chose like eventually my whole thing was like leading up until what I want to do in high school and college. Mm -hmm. So I want to be a political science major and eventually get into either like law or politics. So I chose like a debate and then I also chose I don't think the music producer isn't that what you said? No, it's not on here. The other one, I have to edit it. And then I chose like protests and all that type of stuff because that's stuff I'm really interested in about social justice. Yeah. Oh, oh did you change it? Mm -hmm. I like this one. Tell me about oh. your pictures. I must have done like, what, is this a rainbow because you like rainbows? Yeah. And then what about the next one? <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of rain. You like the sound of rain. I like that cool. And then is this dogs or puppies? Dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then dogs. What's your dog's name? Pepper. Pepper. And then what's oh, yeah. this one? Painting. Painting. Because I like to paint. <laughs> you like leaves. We know that. Is oh, this, are these glass, pieces of glass? Because I have it on it's my phone. It's science. Oh, science, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you like April Fool's Day? And music, because you're in band, right? Is that what that is, musical notes? Mm -hmm. And then, is this the color pink? And you made it The first one is cupcakes. Oh, these are cupcakes. You like cupcakes, you like pink? creative. Right? Okay. Leaves. <laughs> and then this is the beach. <laughs> cool. Okay, you're gonna click download. <laughs> and then see where it says JPG? Click that one and then click start download. Please explain this collage. So I like raccoons mm -hmm. and I play guitar. Mm -hmm. So putting them together is perfect. Two and one. And then this is a DeLorean from Back to the Future and I love that one. And you like the sky, so it's all yeah, in the yeah. sky. I'm planning on adding more, but... That's a good start. Yeah. I like that. Like so as you can see, the kids had a lot of fun creating their collages. Some kids went with a very minimalistic look. Some kids got a little bit more creative than others. And just like with any new platform or any new technology that I've introduced to myself and my students in the classroom, it was one of those things where once I let the kids get on there and kind of discover, they just kind of ran with it. So again, if you as a teacher are looking for a tool or resource that's either gonna help you make your lessons more engaging or visually appealing, or you're looking for something that you can provide to your students that allows them to have different kinds of options to express their learning in non-traditional ways, then Creative Cloud Express is a great resource for you to use and I highly recommend it. Until next time, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the description box below and I will do my best to get an answer for you. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.